I think people are so fascinated with wolves because it's such an iconic species. It's a solitary predator that's beautiful and um, deserves protection. Humans and wolves have a long history and they're part of our natural heritage. <laughs> From the time that we're children reading fairy tales, they create an allure in our imaginations. I am searching for the elusive red wolf. People are very fascinated to photograph wolves and to see them in person. Uh, I think just because of the wildness of a wolf. I am stoked. This is absolutely awesome. I can't, I can't get over it. We have two wolves here, a male and a female. We we're wild once, and I think that's so red wolves just kind of represent that wildness that we keep looking for. There's something about wolves. They're a family group, and they mate for life. Um, and of course, it doesn't hurt that they're cute as hell. And they're just out on the landscape trying to make a living. We are driving on to the Alligator National Wildlife Refuge. My name is Joe Madison. I am the program manager for the Fish and Wildlife Service for the Red Wolf Recovery Program in eastern North Carolina. Wolf tracks. Historically, red wolves were found throughout the southeastern United States, including eastern North Carolina. And they started to decline in the 60s, and then in the 1970s, they recognized that they were losing the species. So at that time, they decided to capture all remaining red wolves and bring them into captivity with the hope of having a captive breeding program. And in 1987, uh, four pairs were released into the wild. After approximately 2007, for various reasons, both political and ecological, the red wolf population started to decline. Red wolves are special because they are so critically endangered. My name is Jen Myhills. I'm the regional director with National Wildlife Federation. Unfortunately, we've seen an increase in gunshot mortality of red wolves collisions with cars, and then they are also facing all of the same stressors that our other native wildlife are facing with invasive species, climate change, and really a squeeze on their habitat. One of the challenges red wolves are facing are the expansion of coyotes in the recovery area. And in fact, the entire country, um, largely in the absence of other predators uh, like red wolves. Wildlife don't respect property boundaries. We've heard concerns raised from farmers about any impacts that wolves might have on livestock. Here in the five counties where red wolves are found, you're not allowed to shoot coyotes at nighttime uh, because of the concern over mistaken identity and shooting a red wolf instead. So that has led to private landowners feeling like their rights are being infringed upon because of the red wolf. Many of our large landowners want the ability to control the predator population at will without interference by the federal government. My name is David Clegg. I'm the county manager and county attorney of Tyrrell County, North Carolina. Those issues are strongly held and clearly articulated to elected officials in Tyrrell County. And the educational component over time has probably not been as robust as it should have been. Clearly, the existence of wildlife refuges and those areas that encourage hunting and fishing and birding are vitally important to the economic lifeblood of this place. This is the only area where there is a wild population of red wolves in the entire world. What I want for Tyrrell County, ultimately, is that it have a robust ecotourism economy. They are very shy and wary of humans, even though these two have been in captivity all their lives. The wolf, the story of the wolf, the unique nature of that reintroduction, that is a story that needs to be told. The beat got stronger as I pointed the antenna in this direction. My hope for the Red Wolf Recovery Program here in eastern North Carolina and throughout its range is to increase the population and for this species to, to thrive in the wild and to be accepted and be a benefit to the folks of the areas that they're found in. 
Red Wolf Recovery and it, their continued success in the wild is going to take the cooperative effort of all of us together to bring this species back from the brink again. If we don't act now, we are at the very real risk of losing the species in our lifetimes or certainly our children's lifetimes. Ah!